What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at Fatalis Blade Master. He's a new Void Legendary and he looks like an absolute boss. Um, yeah, and you know, I'm getting real sort of Soul Calibur vibes from him. But yeah, this guy is going to be an absolute baller. He's going to wreck the arena. And I'm predicting it now. Um, I reckon he's going to knock Taris off that number one spot. He is going to be the new number one Nuka in the game for sure. Um, so let's just look at his kit first. And then I'll talk for you about the sort of builds that you probably want to try and build with him. So passive places a shield buff on this champion equal to 25% of their max HP for two turns at the end of their turn. Uh, this champion cannot receive critical hits when under a shield buff placed by this champion. So, you know, if you bring in Brogney and he puts shields on him, it's not going to work. It has to be his own shield. But this is still crazy. This is sort of what Harima does and also like reaction gear. Um, it just the damage reduction is going to be massive and it's going to be so hard to kill him, especially when it's 25% of his max HP. He's a HP champion. So you're going to be stacking HP on him as well. Um, you know, probably gonna be aiming for like 80, maybe even 100k HP. But yeah, it's gonna be so hard to kill him. Uh, he also has a secret skill, a bit like Mortu. Um, so let's sort of just read for it and see see what how it works. So attacks one enemy, we ignore 50% of the target's defense, fills his champions, turn me by 50% of the attack is critical. Damage inflicted by the skill cannot be decreased by the enemy's passive skill or masteries, except the passive skills of bosses. That is huge. That is going to make him really easy to kill, like Taris. The only thing you're going to need to watch out is for blessings, like Warden of the Fallen, which is the one that gives you bone armor. Um, so that gives you like great survivability, and that will probably, you know, this will help you sort of counter this. But yeah, damage inflicted by the skill cannot be increased by other wait sorry say damage inflicted by skill cannot be increased either this champion's mastery or allies passive skills except when attacking bosses okay so they don't want it to make it too broken this is a secret skill and only becomes available when any three of these champions skills were used around so basically you have to sort of cycle through your abilities um for this to sort of open up so it means like you do a3 a2 a1 and then this will awaken. So you can't just do it straight off the bat, which makes sense. Otherwise, it would just be completely broken. So A3 attacks all enemies, ignores 15% of the target's defense if this attack, uh, sorry, if this attack is a critical hit. Um, decreases the target's defense by 5%, stacks up to 30. That is huge. Um, literally, this guy is just going to be melting people. Uh, A2 attacks one enemy, will ignore strengthen, stone skin, increased defense, and ally protection buffs. Also ignores 15% of the target's defense if this attack is a critical hit. Decreases the target's attack by 30, no, sorry, by 10%, stacks up to 30. Again, what is this guy doing? Just insane. And then A1 attacks one enemy, ignores 15% of the target's defense if this attack is a critical. Um, also has a 20% chance of granting an extra turn. So I think that, so thinking about builds for him, I think stone skin is going to be probably the first option. He's going to be an absolute beast in stone skin. He's already ignoring 15% of the target's defense anyway. And of course, all your hits are going to be critical. Uh, yeah, obviously we're going to want lots of HP on him. Um, he's got loads of speed, so he's really, really fast. So you should be able to get HP boots, HP chest, crit damage gloves, HP ring, crit damage amulet, and then a HP banner. Uh, you could put some defense on there if you wanted to be even tankier, but I just feel that, you know, with this shield, there's probably no need for it. He, you know, he's just going to destroy people. So it, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, but stone skin, I feel like, is probably what people are going to go with for now. But then in the future, I definitely feel like he's going to thrive in Merciless. So let's just have a look at Merciless again. Remind ourselves what the gear set actually does. 
scroll, scroll, scroll all the way down to the bottom. So, okay, we're not gonna get any benefit from the attack, but the crit damage, the speed, that's gonna help. 30% chance to decrease a random skill when dealing damage, that's huge. Again, we're gonna be able to ignore even more defense, more speed, more crit damage. But I think that plus 15% chance of gaining an extra turn is gonna be huge for him. Just, you know, he's all, all sorry, wrong place. But um, yeah, he's already um, getting a 20% chance to get an extra turn on his A1. So um, I don't think it, the way it'll probably work is it doesn't stack. It'll be 20% chance of getting an extra, if it doesn't, if you fail, then you probably get a 15% chance with Merciless to try and get an extra turn again. But yeah, so I think for now, you know, you're going to stack Stone Skin on him. And then in the future, you can uh, put him in Merciless. I guess the other thing as well is if you did want to add a little bit more, um, like, ignore defense to him, you could go four pieces, stone skin, and then two pieces, cruel. Uh, I know cruel gives you attack, but it gives you that 5% uh, ignore defense, so that could help it. But we don't know at the moment what sort of damage he's going to be doing and how his multipliers are, but I'm sure this guy is going to smack and definitely, you know, Taurus is going to lose that number one spot and this Blade Master is going to steal it for 100% for sure. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, I've been The Real Deal. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.